Hello, uh, dear students. We are going to discuss as to why from the plant resources that we use for day-to-day -day survival have been discovered and which particular community or which particular area has resulted in conversion of a wild plant into a domesticated and commercially cultivated plant. We all know that majority of the plants initially were wild and obviously their wild conversion into commercially cultivated plants is based on the efforts put in by different tribal communities. It is presumed that initially all the humans were wild cave dwellers. They were dependent upon the wild animals and after hunting they would get these animals to the cave and consume them as the food resource. However, with every passing year of dependence the animals also tried to run away from that area where they were hunted and plants in turn became the other alternate resources for the humans. Initially, humans were collecting wild plants and experimenting with these as to were they good in taste, were they bad in taste, were they in turn suppressing only hunger or energizing their body or accidentally helping them to overcome whatever ailments they were suffering from. This in turn gave a concept of actually collecting data and trying to pass it on from one generation to other generation. Generally, this knowledge is referred to as traditional folklore. That is the knowledge of a community which was passed from the parental generation to the progeny and progenies also would try to experiment as to what plant they can collect, which part they can use, which part they can recommend to be used or stored for a longer duration so that not only they but whatever members of the family was dependent on them could survive for a longer duration. However, with every passing day, every passing decade, every passing century, the experimentation of the humans changed. They tried to now become dependent on whatever was surrounding them and in turn they discovered accidentally that whatever plant they had collected from a far flung area was growing in the vicinity of the cave and they tried to check what was the source. And what they discovered was the backbone of whatever agriculture or domestication practice we follow. They discovered whatever propagule either in the form of seed or rhizome or root or bulb or sometimes even whole plant they had thrown away as a vestige had in turn sprouted again to give rise to a new plant in an area where it was unknown. Generally this concept is referred to as a rubbish heap hypothesis that is where wastage of a plant thrown away in turn resulted in the development of the same plant in an area where it was unknown. This accidental discovery forced these evolving humans not only to practice this way of cultivation of these plants which were according to their tribal knowledge useful as food or as medicine or as aroma or sometimes even as fodder. This concept of shifting a wild plant to a settled area of the human settlement in turn resulted in conversion of a wild plant into a domesticated plant and with every passing generation efforts were put in by these evolving humans to modify not only quality but also quantity of the product that was harvested from these plants automatically reflecting that the evolving humans in turn were inheriting a knowledge as to where from a wild plant can be converted into a domesticated plant and where from we can modify not only quality and quantity of production but also induce into it changes which will modify its adaptability. In a series of lectures we will be discussing majority of these commercial plants. Some of them can be from the cereals, some can be from millets, some can be from pulses, some can be from grasses, some can be from medicinal plants which have been commercialized at present and trying to in turn induce into an interest wherein as per your choice you can select a particular plant and try to develop a strategy for its commercialization where you are settled or where you are actually dependent on whatever plants or whatever resources are being cultivated. Thank you.